Hi there and welcome to the Laptop Shop Tutorials. Today we're going to look at how to set up a Hotmail email account. In order to do this we just need to first ensure we're connected to the internet. Once we're connected onto the internet we go onto our browser, this can be Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Safari, whichever one you prefer to use. In the top bar just up here we're just going to enter hotmail.co.uk this will take us to the Outlook login page. Where it's just down at the bottom, as you can see down here, it says sign up now. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on here to make our new Hotmail email account. In this bit section here is just a form to just ask a few details about yourself and just sets up your email address. So for an example here, we're just going to set ours as the Laptop Shop Tutorials. So the Laptop Shop tutorials and just below here it's stating what your username would be for this case we're going to go into get a new email address so this can be anything you want it to be like typically I've just got a few examples here for you where obviously you can just put your name um, or obviously if you if it won't accept that sometimes obviously email addresses have been taken already so you need to just alter the email just to make sure you can get one that you personally want, can use and will remember. So bog standard would just be your name, first name, last name. Sometimes you can add in a date of birth or anything additional, a relevant number to yourself. Typically that tends to help allow you to be able to get access to that email address. Entering some sort of punctuation, like a full stop in between, that generally helps as well. This just makes it a little bit more complex so it gives you a little bit more chance of that email address being available. The other option is obviously putting some sort of number before, then your name, and then another number after. This just allows to make sure that you can get one that's specific to you, that you'll remember and people will be able to recognize in order to send and receive emails from. So for an example here, we're just going to use the Laptop Shop Tutorials. And then here you can select if you'd rather have an Outlook account or a Hotmail account. For this one, it doesn't matter which other one you prefer. We're just going to use a Hotmail for this one here. When it comes to setting up a password, as you can see here, it says password must have at least eight characters and contain at least two of the following. So we need to have at least two uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. So I've just wrote down a few examples here. So obviously this would be just a bog standard password. This wouldn't be acceptable because it's only got one type, it's only got lowercase characters. So then we'd be moving on to something like either having our password, chosen password with some sort of number on the end or before it, anything like that. And we'd also have the option of just putting a capital letter in there. Obviously this would help as well. And then the other option is obviously you can have a word and just change some of the letters out for numbers. This generally also does help just towards getting yourself a nice secure password. The other option is obviously you can use more than one, so using a capital letter and numbers, or potentially adding some sort of punctuation in there like a question mark, a full stop, anything like that. Or the, obviously the most secure way is obviously to try and include an uppercase letter, lowercase letters, numbers, and some sort of punctuation such as a question mark or a full stop. These are just different ways that you can obviously lay out your password. I wouldn't suggest using password in your password because it's a little bit easy to get a hold of. So make it specific to you, something you'll be able to remember. Potentially jot it down on a piece of paper just so you can remember that. Obviously then you can keep getting in and accessing your emails. So if we just set a standard password. And if you enter it correctly and it accepts the way you've put in your password, you'll be able to go on to the next section which is obviously your country of region. If you're based in the United Kingdom, obviously select the United Kingdom. There's an awful lot of different places that obviously you can select to get it closest to you. So date of birth, for this example, we'll just go for the second, the first, 1964. Obviously you put in your own personal date of birth. This is just one I've just entered now, random selection, just so we can get through with this video. Right, gender, obviously you select your personal gender. These are just little fields that you have to fill out. Obviously you can put like not specified if you wish. You do have to put in a date of birth. It's not a not specified thing, unfortunately. So 
we had to enter that one there. Uh, just to help them obviously allow you to get back into your account if anything were to happen, if you forgot your password or anything like that, you just have to enter a phone number or an alternative email address. So if you've got a friend or family that you'd rather have their email address set to, or you've got another email address you'd like it set to, then obviously you can do that, or just easy enough just to enter your own contact number. Generally makes life a little bit easier. You'll just get a message come through to your phone if there's ever any issues. So, and then the bottom bit is just to enter the digits that they give you. This can be quite complex sometimes. We've got quite a nice easy one here. So we just enter this as it says, SPV36Y. Me personally, I'd untick this box here. You don't want promotional things from a Microsoft. It's not the most interesting emails you'll ever receive. But if you wish to have the promotional offers from Microsoft, then you can click on that one and leave it kept ticked. Once we're done with this, so we've entered our first name, our surname, we've entered what we require as our username, we've got our password in there, it's all correct, we've got our country or region entered in there, date of birth, gender, and we've got some sort of fallback for if we ever forget our password or anything like that, just to be able to get back into our account, keep ourselves nice and secure. Then all you have to do is create that account. This can take a few moments sometimes just to be able to get you in. But once you've done, you'll get like a little uh, welcome to your new inbox. So this will allow you just to go through. You get a default email from Outlook, just showing you the email basics, personalization, things like that. Once you've got this, that's your email account set up. All you have to do is go to hotmail.co.uk, enter your email address, your password, and you can get onto your email account. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.